And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Minecraft with the Builder's Pack. We are on a new version of the Builder's Pack, 1.8. And that introduces uh, a few mods. Um, not a few. It kind of, well, it downgrades Journey Map. So Journey Map actually works now. Uh, so it, it actually updates itself. You can see up in the corner, it actually works now. Because, uh, we, you know, we did update to the new version, and it was bonkers so we had to downgrade it but we also included a mod that uh, i wanted to play around with and uh, we will get to later in the game and that's yes draconium evolution or draconic evolution um we're not quite there yet uh not even close so anyway Today, I want to set up our system a little bit better. We've got some drives in here. We're still rocking the 4K drives, and they're full, which is a problem. That's a big problem. So one of the things I want to do is I want to set up a system so we can uh, kind of upgrade that a bit. I've already got a bunch of 64K storage drives ready to go. Um, and as you saw in here, I actually already have one in there, and it's already got stuff in it. So we need to get this system going. So in order to sort of uh, defrag the system, um, which will empty out all the drives and sort of... Because, you know, we could have... If you have enough items and small enough drives, you could have some... some let's say, let's come up with some random item like arrows, if you're not avoiding arrows. Um, you could have some arrows in here. It'll fill that up. Then it'll pop over to here, put some arrows in here, fill that up. And you could have arrows, like, throughout your whole system. And it just, it's, it's a little crazy. Uh, and arrows was an example. I've already got them over on my wall. Uh, or at least I should. Somebody in the comments said, hey, I know arrows. I don't. I actually don't have arrows in here. Well... That stinks. I thought for sure I had arrows in here. Where are my arrows at? I put all the mob farm stuff over there. Okay. First things first, let's get the drives going. So I have a MEIO port, and this thing is a pretty simple device. Let me grab uh, a drive. One of the things I did is I turned off the importing out of the orange, orange, orange chest. Because I don't want anything going into the system while I do this. Uh, you kind of want to have a sort of a content lock on your system. So I'm going to go in here. There's 41 types in here. I'm going to see if going from drive to the port, I'm going to go right like that and see if there's enough space there is not. I still have 16 types left. Um, I was sort of hoping this would work, but apparently it's not going to work. So I need to use one more of these drives. I need some quartz glass. Can I just get like one more of those? Thank you very much. Okay. So I'm going to put this drive in here. And then finish this off. That'll transfer all that. It's good to go now. Uh, because one of the things I can do is pop that 4K drive. So you you have the drive in your hand. Shift right click with it. And it'll pop the, the storage component out. And you get your storage housing back. Well, why is that a good thing? Well, the storage housing, you can just reuse. Uh, let's put one of these in here. So you can use the storage housing right away. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Let's go up here. I'm going to grab this drive now. See, this has got 62 of 63 types. Uh, okay. And uh, just FYI, when you pop the, the component out, it basically erases everything that's in it. You lose everything that's in it. So don't do that if you aren't willing to lose everything in the drive. Okay, this one is done. So I can then go ahead and upgrade that. 
Looks like we have another storage housing in there. Maybe that's the last one. Yep. Okay. I, I mean, it's not, it doesn't really matter how you do that, but I like to reuse resources. So there's two more. These are going to, I mean, the number of types in all of these is pretty crazy. So I'm actually going to want to pull all of those out. And uh, we have one of these here. So as you can see, we've got a lot of types available to us. So if we dump all of those. Okay. And let's try 45 types. See if we have enough to process. Yes, we do. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. So I'm going to pop. Make sure these are the ones that are empty. Pop that one and pop that one. But don't do that because the inventory tweaks pops it back. and That would be a sad, sad day. <laughs> popping, popping drives that you actually have use for. Uh, okay. So there's another drive and another drive. So all of the types that we're using, this is why these are filling up. But we're actually compressing you know, the number of types that we have. So this one can go. And this one can go. And let's put the rest of these, let's put this one in. I'm not sure how we're doing as far as types go. We're actually doing pretty good. I That tells me if we don't fill the types up all the way through here, that tells me that the drives were indeed bridging uh, bridging types. So let's just confirm that, pop that out. And that's our last one. So one, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three. And then we can do the last one here. There we go. Now our system is basically defragmented and ready for more processing. Because if you look, all those drives we had were basically full uh, that we had in here. And now we've actually got quite a few that are completely empty. So, yeah, there was a lot of bridging of types that we needed to avoid. And uh, so now I think we can, once again, bring things into the fold. And let's uh, set up some, some quickness here. There we go. I've got another digital miner going. Uh, I moved it. And uh, we've got another one of those going. So, uh, and we should be outputting all of those. Excellent. So the system should be uh, processing quite a lot of material. Oh, yeah. Good times. A lot of Eulorium probably to process as we move in. Okay, I want to fix that whole arrow thing because that's bothering me. How many arrows mm -hmm. do we have? Oh, we have 12,000 arrows. Uh, so Holy that's crap. not something we need. So let's do a drawer. I want a basic drawer. I'm going to slap that down. I want to grab some arrows. Uh, where are my keys? I think my keys are in my backpack. Yeah. And I need that key, that key, and some tape. I love the packing tape. All right, let's go up over here. I'm going to slap it right in here. Yoink. Okay, so that automatically is locked. So we can then export out into that. But it will only hold 2,000, which is fine by me. I don't think we need any more than 2,000 arrows. So let's grab one more arrow. Go up here. This is why I have this export bus, because if I add a drawer for storage, I need an export bus. Oh, 
See, I added inner pearls, so that was that's why we had inner pearls in there. And I do believe that this is all accelerated. So this should actually empty my system out. See, it's already at 2048, and yet I probably, yeah, see, it's still emptying arrows. Because it's hitting 2000, then it's voiding all the rest, which is good. So that's how we want to handle that. It's just voiding all, all of the arrows. So you can see we got quite a bit here. That probably saved that probably saved a good amount of space out of our system. So 2048 arrows is what we're at now, so that's perfect. I can actually take that export bus off. Because basically this is a storage bus, so it's pulling the arrows in the system. And then it's exporting them right back out again. It's kind of weird. So I don't want to do that. Okay, that is the arrow situation. So thank you for pointing that out. Um, I thought I was thought for sure that we had arrows in the system already. But apparently not. Uh, is this iron? That's tin. This is gunpowder. This is iron here. Yeah, I'm probably going to need, because, right, you know, drawers at the beginning, you know, at this stage of the game, work really well. Uh, but drawers, drawers late game, when, you've, when you need many, many, many thousands of material, don't make a whole lot of sense, because these max out at about 450,000. And there are times that I have more than that of one thing or another. So we got to be careful with that. Looks like we got lots and lots of essence. Good amount of sludge. Okay, so we've got plenty of drive bays. I added a couple drive bays there for, for more fancy drives. And uh, just sort of getting a feel for what's needed. Uh, going forward, we're, I'm mining in the nether, actually, uh, so if we, if we wait long enough, we'll, we'll have lots and lots of nether quartz, because I'm auto-processing it, so as you can see, we've got 82,000, and I'm seeing if you look at your input, see the nether rack coming in? That's that's a digital miner in the nether. It's programmed for nether quartz, soul sand, nether rack. I even think I put like cobalt nardite on it. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But uh, we now have draconium as well. Not much, but you know, we'll, we'll make that work soon. Now, going forward. One thing I would like to do is, now that we have the mineral, what is happening over here? I don't have One, enough. One, two, beans. three, four. Oh. I thought you were over by me. <laughs> oh, no. It's just, like, the mineral tree stopped. Where is the saplings? Did this thing not... What are you set on? Oh, you're actually not set on saplings. So how about you get down to the servo level here? How about you? There you go. Better, much better. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know how that servo canceled out. Block updates. Remember, I had to break the mob crushers. Yeah, that's true. After I knew they were getting, they should be getting power. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that was weird. Like, it was fully planted when I first logged in, and then it was just like, nope. How are we doing on sugarcane? Oh, we are not doing good at all. This 
this farm needs to ramp up. Um, the journey map really quick. So I have back here, I've got a spot loader. Because that means this chunk is loaded here. But I'm not sure about this chunk right here. So I can probably get another spot loader. And a spot yeah. loader is basically just load this chunk, keep it loaded. I think I've On got... On journey map, they're diff yeah, they're in different chunks. Yep. Um, I think, you know, if I go down here and enable, enable the laser lights down here, because this is where the chunk loader is. So show lasers... Uh, it looks like, okay. it looks like the machine is barely in oh. the chunk radius. So I may need, yeah, so it's pulling in right here. Yeah, so this little area, this is what's chunk loaded. We need one more spot loader right in between both of those harvesters, if you want to plop that in there. Okay. Yeah, so get this. So this area right here, this chunk right here is loaded, but this one right here is not, which is probably why that servo got so mixed cute. up. They're cute, so tiny. <laughs> they are. <laughs> and thunk. Nope, I think I should put that up a little bit. Put it back near the yeah. building. There you go. Yeah, so that's right there. So that keeps that chunk loaded. So those three chunks are being loaded with spot loaders, which is which is cool. I like that spot loaders, you know, you can just... They're just you know, adorable. Yeah. <laughs> well, they are adorable. <laughs> they do a good job, though. They keeping do. just one chunk loaded. Hard workers. All right. So now... Uh, let's check our mineral supplies. Uh, we've got 33,000 mineral wood. Which is a lot. Uh, do I have that in a crate? I do. Yay! I do have that in a crate. <laughs> I even have a void on it. So once it hit 65,000, it would have voided it. So. Do you mean a drawer, not a crate? A drawer. Yes, I do mean a okay. drawer. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> ah, anyway. Yeah. I, need, I might want to change that into, I don't know, jungle wood? Because I'm... I like having a good supply of all the different kinds of wood. Because um, they all look different. Yeah, you never all, know what you might want to build. They all have very vastly different sort of colorations and stuff. And I think it would just be cool to have a lot of it. Oh, now I can add eggs to my dank null. Oh, just yes. Some. That, that makes such a difference, the eggs. Uh, how many do I have in mine? <laughs> I have 315. Nice. All right. So coming up next episode, we're going to actually do something with all this mineral wood and uh, the crystallized mineral and all the, all the things, uh, which is why I wanted a good supply of this to start with. And that is weird. Why did you stop? Is that a rendering thing? Just half this tree was cut down. Why are you being weird? Oh. I, I see a full tree. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a half a tree right here. Hmm. Do you see this half a tree? Yeah, I do. That's so weird. That's the second tree that it did that. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Okay, well. Weird. Right, I'm gonna put these 4K drives 
away. So nine 4K drives would get you three, would get you three 16, which would give you 164. So all the drives that I popped out of here, I could get probably one more 64K drive just uh, as a wrap up for the, the episode. So next time we come back, we're going to do something about these saplings that are in here. Um, you just got too many saplings, just too many. I want a couple little bit for my system, but everything else, I don't need to keep six bazillion saplings in here. Um, basically, I just want one stack, and that's all I want in here. Um, regardless of what tree or, or whatever I harvest or farm in here, I just want one stack of something uh, sticking around. So we will... Do a little system with integrated dynamics next time as a sort of introduction to how integrated dynamics works. I think it's a good, simple way of introducing that mod, and uh, I will try to uh, explain it the best that I can. Anybody who has some issues or doesn't quite understand, let me know, and I will try to uh, explain it maybe another way or just go over it again because it's a great, powerful mod, and... Uh, very useful. But that'll have to wait till next time. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.